<laughs> and then they're rebuilding the station. And how did no one else get woken up during the whole ship death? How does no other pod? We didn't. Like, I mean, we didn't you know, have time to introduce another character into, into the movie. Fair. That's how. <laughs> that's fair, but I'm also like that. Put that, I mean, but it's a movie, so I have to you know let it go. Um, I love that they that I'm I'm a, like I'm at the I'm a, I'm a captain of of the ship gave them that special wristband, so they just mm-hmm. have free range, can eat yeah. whatever they want, they can do whatever they want. There is no limits to what they've paid for. And I thought that that was awesome. I'm like, I think that's great. I agree. I agree. I was so happy for them. Necessary because, yeah. How fucked up, like you said in the beginning, to only be eating the same thing over and over and over and over. Like she, she could eat more because she paid for a higher she had the price. Higher, oh, I'm thing. so sorry. Like, yeah, when they're eating that one time. Oh, you've been living on this the whole. Oh, here, have a great here here. She gives them all the fancy food. Yeah. Sorry, love it. Love it. Oh, he was a deck officer. Okay. Oh, thank you. I thought. Yeah, I thought he was it was a captain. I thought he was the captain when I was watching, but I did not. I wasn't. Yeah, I thought anyways, I probably I thought that he was though. the captain. Honestly, every time I've watched it, I thought he was the captain. Well, because I think the captain, I find when I was doing a little bit of research on the on the like on IMBD, there's another actor um, in the movie that uh, what's his name? Because you don't there's like not very many actors. in No. This movie. Andy Garcia is his name, and he is Captain Norris at the end when he comes out of when they all arrive, and the whole fucking place is covered in plants and animals. And were there animals? I can't remember, but I think there was chickens. Was essentially, a there jungle. Was chickens. Yeah, chickens. Right? There were chickens. Yeah, yeah. He has no lines. He's just there. He just walks in, just sh- shocked that this is all happening. I don't blame him. Like, but, there's um, a freaking tree in the middle of the ship because they planted a tree, by the way. Like they wouldn't have. They, why would they think that was all going to, like, you know, anyone who is coming out of the hibernation, none of that, no one was going to expect that. And I'm sure, honestly, the way that everyone came out, like you said, you're, you're right, not everyone's going to get let out at first. And they're probably going to have the crew come out first and yeah. then slowly let the rest of the people. So the crew's yeah. coming out looking, looking at everything like, what the heck is this? You know, that was definitely like, I don't know. Here's another question I have in, in the fact that, we don't know the answer to this because we don't see any evidence of it. Would you have had children if you are Jim and Fuck Aurora no. In that time. That would be so stupid. You know what I mean, though? There's no doctors. Would you want- That's fair. But you do have that whole doctor table. It's a doctor table. It's not a doctor. I know. Hell no. Saved- I mean, I wouldn't personally, but, like, if it was to, say... I don't know. I guess a have bloodline thing. A bloodline thing. If you needed to, if you were thinking that way, I don't. But then it's like, I don't know. Like that's a. I mean, it's a lot of pulling out. <laughs> yeah, you don't bring. I was just. That was just a question I had. Like, would you? Do you think they would have maybe had a family? If they're. I mean, think about it. They are living there. It's just them. Would they have wanted to have like a family? Like I don't know. I'm just like thinking about it. Like that's a good question. You like know, on like, shows like that, I feel like they shouldn't have children. Like for I instance, completely agree. For instance, the um, um, like The Walking Dead. None of those mm-hmm. dumbasses sh- sh- like should be having babies, but oh, yeah, they're, they're but yeah, they're having fucking babies in a zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of the same situation. I think if you're gonna have a kid on a ship, you're an absolute dumbass. Exactly, Jordan. With no protection and accidents about to happen, I agree. And but you, there might be a condom right? station somewhere. You don't know that. Yeah, we we really don't know. Like, we don't know what kind of off what, what they offer in the like, simply like we do as women in most well not most bathrooms they used to have like you know feminine products. Like, what if they have condoms and then the and like and what like, if like know. the future they have like different birth control and they just yeah who knows? There's a lot of that was something I thought of though as at the end when the captain was looking at everything overgrown. Because they're not alive anymore, right? To be fair, so it wasn't like goof in here. You need more people to keep the population going. It'd be incestuous. There were this ship. It's only a hundred and twenty years. Like this whole thing is a hundred twenty years. Mm-hmm. So max, you would have Jim and Aurora and a couple kids, and that's about it. Because there wouldn't be more of a generation in a hundred and twenty years. I feel, in, in, in my opinion. I agree. And by they, the time the yeah. kids were old enough, 
everyone would be waking like what, by the time they were adults that everyone I feel like would be waking up by that y- point. Yeah. So kind of. Yeah. I think that's kind of the situation. If they chose to have kids, like they would, the kids would be alive to greet the captains and stuff, which they weren't. I mean, so I don't think that they had kids. Yeah. That's why I'm saying, I don't think they did have kids. Cause that's, that was some, but I was just, my hypothetical was, would you have like, Obviously, I wouldn't have kids, but you also don't know what could happen in that situation, I suppose, with accidents, like Jordan said. like But that table would have stuff, like, an abortion <laughs> option, probably. It would. I would. You would hope so, right? <laughs> yeah. Free, I mean, in a situation, if you're going out in space, you better, I don't know, be open-minded to that kind of shit. I'm just curious. Like, well, and then also limited sources on a ship, unlike in Walking Dead. Yeah. Or is yeah. this so far in the future that they can just print food? I don't know. See, I disagree with the limited sources on the ship only for the fact that there's 5,000 passengers on that yes. fucking ship. <laughs> yes. And that's a lot of fucking mouths to feed. So yeah. basically the only issues you would have is if that, if Jim and Aurora had a family that they might take a chunk of all those other people's sources, I guess, but... All in all, they're heading to another home planet those where there are resources. Those people wake up within, so. like, what, six months? Like, six months out, those those people wake out, like, wake up. I'm pretty sure it's a six-month gap. Mm-hmm. So, like, they can portion for six months. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I think. So, I don't know. It's just something I was Three thinking months. about with that. Like, would you have a family if you did... Or would you, like, you know, and if you did, see, I just think that it wouldn't, it would be tough because you'd have to do it all. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think because I'm so, like, no kids, yeah. I, I can't get, I wouldn't even consider it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would just be interesting yeah. to, like, I think I might. I don't know. That's a tough, that's a tough decision. I mean, you're already out there. You're already going to be out there. You technically could have a family. You're just adding more people. No, they can't, you know, as long as you make it clear, like you guys can't bone each other. (laughs) Okay. Kids like no boning for you. Like it's no incest. You can wait till the freaking people (laughs) wake up. The hell, you know what I mean? Like, or you just go start waking more people up. (laughs) I wonder if there's any kids like, in the pods. That's another thing. Are there children on the pods? Or is it just is it just grown ups? Like and not like that matters. I was just curious. No, I just thought just I just thought about that. Sorry. In the future. Yeah. I was just very curious. Like, are there oh, yeah, children absolutely. in the pods? I, I never I, thought about that. Yeah. Cause I mean, you're just adding more people because obviously they want people on the new planet, right? Yeah. They're sending five thousand people up there. There's already people I maybe yeah. there or is it you know? I think there must be to start it out, yeah. I assume, or maybe this is the first one to this planet that they're they're getting, you know, maybe. going or whatever. I don't know. But you'd need children for that, right? Yeah. Typically, I don't know. Maybe not. But, like, or someone's making kids. That's how the human population keeps going. So that's kind of how I, I don't know. If you're sending people out there, you're going to want them to True. Bone. continue making more humans. So I don't know. Something I thought of, like, would you have a family? Would you want to bring them into that? Would you try to be as careful as you could so you wouldn't have to have a family? Leave it to the other people. Would you want to do it just so you could have a bloodline flow? Did you, you know, like, I don't know. Because then you're, like, taking, you know, it's a whole, like, taking care of the whole. But then it's, like, you have a purpose suddenly, which sounds crazy. True. But you're on a spaceship. You suddenly have a purpose. You have an education to fulfill with these ch- children. You have plenty of things of, of resources to be able to do so on top of that. Like it wouldn't be mm-hmm. the worst thing. It actually probably be kind of cool. Cause you have a lot of resources. Yeah. I don't know. Something, True. I don't know. Something I thought of like, yeah, it would kind of suck. But at the same time, like think about how cool of a life as a kid, like not knowing that would be something stressful that you wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. If your parents would left it, just this is our life. This is what we do. Yeah. You wouldn't know any different. You know what I mean? Kind of interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I also don't know if I'd want to be born in that situation. 
Yeah. Putting that myself in that perspective. You yeah. know what I mean? You sure get a lot of Dance Dance Revolution going on there. <laughs> yeah. Just saying. <laughs> and I'm sure their gaming area is probably pretty sick, too. Yeah, probably. I mean... And, then, like, all of the movies, like, you could watch. I mean, you... I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. Eventually, you might want to, like, expand your your flow. Have more... Because, you know, just having one person is great, but it's nice to communicate with other people, too. I don't know. Something I, something I definitely thought about. Would I, would I have a family in space if I was in that situation? Hmm. But then again, if I was Aurora, I don't know if I'd ever... I'm, but I don't know. It's like, would I ever? But she saved his life. She wanted. She was in love with him. She fell in love with the guy. Here, okay. I'm he gonna murdered her. I'm gonna in, expand on that. Did she fall in love with him? Yeah, and did say, she? And save him because she loved him, or did she save him because if he died, she's alone? And did was she it just for her own selfishness? And did she just forget about her hatred because she realized she's stuck on the ship? And might as well have someone with her than hate someone for the rest of her life. And have to see him every day around the ship. I'm curious yeah. about that. Like, did she truly love him? Or was she like, I can't physically live alone? Personally, I feel like she couldn't physically live alone. And she probably just made the best of the situation. I agree. That's how I feel. Because... I mean, the way the movie wants to be, uh, the way the movie expresses it is that she's in love with him. Yeah, I don't right? buy it. She says, I love you. Oh my God, you're alive. <laughs> um, yeah. I just, I don't know. I don't buy it. I just, that's just too fantastical in, in fantasy, too fantasy. And he I, still I, did, I don't know. did something truly evil. Yeah. No matter how like, much she thinks she loves him, he did something truly evil. He started their relationship on a very, very bad foot. Yes. Huh? <laughs> like, he forced the relationship, which is what bothers me the most, I think. Yeah. Because that was definitely, I mean, I, originally in her eyes, it's organic, but, like, yeah. it really wasn't, you know? Mm. It really was not. Um, I don't also, I really just, why did we need to... Why did we need to make the whole space station be a fucking jungle? I'm just curious. Fun. I don't mind building the, the, the tree. And it's for fun. I would have probably done the same thing. But, like, why? Because they already had, like, their own area for, like, their whole, you know, uh, situation. But, like, I just didn't. I mean, it was fine. I think it what was you a do? symbolic Adam and Eve type of thing. Okay. I think that's, that's what fair. that was about. A symbolic thing. Yeah. Yeah. But Bringing I don't know. I think of Earth and just yeah. I don't know. I think they into the space. just did it for funsies. I would do yeah. it for funsies. Yeah, I was just thinking. I, about I would going like, paint everything. <laughs> I was thinking the same. I was literally just gonna say. I think I would have had a lot more like murals and stuff on the walls. And yeah, stuff. and I would have had gardens. But like having a whole area sectioned off for the gardens, I would have just spent a lot of my time in there. <laughs> anyways. Jordan yeah, says that the the of time. <laughs> yeah, but we're not thinking in the sense of this is a movie. We're thinking of this is their real life, and why would them? Why would they do that in their real life? <laughs> not it's as a movie. And I'm thinking like also maybe it was to be like we like yes to show the passage of times or time, but like also when everyone starts waking up, a we lived in here, like literally. What if they didn't do that? Like, it might take people a little longer, maybe, depending on what impact they left on the ship, mm -hmm. to discover that they had been alive. True. Where's their dead bodies? What do they do? Did they just Buried decide in the dirt? Out? That's true. I mean, maybe it's in the within the plants. Maybe they are one with the plants, and that's Jim and Aurora Garden. Maybe. Or did they just yeet themselves off the spaceship after they did all that and was like, mm. okay, we're old, we're dying. <laughs> Maybe. Or they just die together. Like, that is, that, those are questions that I have. They find them just, like, in a room. Cuddled together dead? Yeah. Like, wh where do they find them? You know what I mean? That's a very good question. And what did they do with Lawrence Fishborn? I didn't, I didn't catch they that They yeeted what, that bitch off the ship, I did bet. Did they yeet him off the ship? I don't he, know. They must have. I mean, it smells when people, you know? I'm like, sure. That, shit stinks. Or would the ship itself, just in case, have, like, a, a crematorium or something like oh, that. 
Duh. Of course they. Of course it probably did. Right. Because Just in case. Passengers. You know. Probably. They did yeah, eat right. him off the ship. I didn't think about that. They, but they probably did eat him off that ship. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I think. I kind of think they might have. Yeah. I don't remember, but I think they might have. Because wouldn't we like? Why not show us the um, a, a crematorium or something like that? Maybe they couldn't access that room. But then they have that wristband, so they can access every room. That's true. They could go anywhere. I if that was the case, fuck, they didn't fuck... I mean, okay, maybe they didn't want to ruin the captain's life. <sighs> so hard. It's so hard for me. Jim took Would they have needed another person? Door. You know? I don't know. Was that a real scene, Jordan? Or, like, or like you just explaining an imaginary scene? <laughs> I can't remember. I kind of want to. <laughs> what wanna happened to Lawrence Fishburne in Passengers? <laughs> yes, that really uh, happened. I can't remember if that was a real scene or not. And I, I, and I watched this this movie like four times, and I don't remember. Of course, it's not going to have anything like that, but oh my God, I'm just, I just went to YouTube and just said passenger, passengers movie clips. And I'm just like, immediately like get the feelings of when I watched that. It was just so, yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah. I'm not a huge Chris Pratt fan though. Like I said Mm, earlier, no, we can can go into that a little bit. We can go into that. (laughs) Um, All in all review of the movie. Great movie. Fantastic movie. Um, Disappointed in the helmet CGI, but I'm, it's not it's something I looked past. That's so minute. One thing that I noticed the most. <laughs> I was really disturbed. I don't know why it bothered me. It's something I just noticed, and I was like, because their heads were exceptionally larger. But then I'm like, you know what? It's like a dome, so maybe it's kind of... Like a fish tank? You know, fish fishbowl kind of style. Yeah. And, you know, I talked myself through it. It was hard, but I talked I talked myself through it. Um, <laughs> but all in all, the movie was great. I... Don't think I would have done much differently in their positions. Yeah. I have a lot of questions of like, why didn't they do this? Why didn't they wake up this person? What? But then it's like, morally, I, how many fucking people do you need to wake up to, yeah. to suffer with, yeah. I guess? You know? Yeah, yeah. 